2022 is coming to an end. And ang daming pangyayari this year. Ang daming flagship naglabasan this year. Ang daming mid-range and ang daming budget phones. So I put together this video to share to you, not just only my opinion about who's the best phone for 2022. So I did ask a few of our tech friends from local, international, and as well as some of our fans to share their thoughts on who deserves to be the flagship of 2022. So hi guys, I'm Mr. Richmond, the Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. So before I pakita sa inyo ang mga videos coming from our friends, gusto mo naman pasalamat sa mga brands who has supported us throughout 2022. And of course, a big shout out to my new family sa Acer and Predator for sending me this jacket. No? So even though na medyo mainit dito sa Pilipinas, but of course, I'm proud to wear this jacket na, of course, official merch ng Predator. So you'll be seeing some of my Predator review pretty, pretty soon here sa the channel. So here are some thoughts from our international tech blogger friends about who's the best phone for 2022. Hi Richman, thanks for having me. I'm Jeremy Dufour and among all the smartphones that I had the chance to try out this year, I think that the one that I will pick to be the best of 2022 is the Xiaomi 12s Ultra. It's a China only release but still I really liked it with its one of a kind design that looks like a vintage camera and of course its main one in sensor that gives great quality pictures and encouraged me to use it even more. I also found out that the three sensors were versatile enough so that I didn't have to bring my main camera around and it's always nice when I'm not really sure to use it. I'm looking forward to see the same sensor in the next Xiaomi 13 Pro in action and I'm curious to see which one you'll pick which man. Ito naman ang napili na ating mga local tech blogger friends about the best phone for 2022. Hello guys, this is Paul Gutierrez of Paul Tech TV. At ang pinaka best kong phone this year 2022, hindi lang isa kundi dalawa. Ito yung Lenovo Legion Y70 at OnePlus Ace 5G. Kung bakit ito yung mga best phones ko this year 2022, yung Lenovo Y70 meron tayong Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus na hindi umiinit yung phone na to unlike sa Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. At lalo kung nagusto yung Legion Y70 dahil dun sa bypass charging niya. Which is hindi magiinit yung phone na bang naglalaro tayo at direct siya dun sa phone, hindi siya dadaan dun sa battery. So malaking advantage talaga to sa mga gamer, lalo na sa mga streamer. At napakatagal ding malowbat dahil parang naka-greenify siya at hindi nagaraan yung mga ibang apps dun sa background niya. Sobrang sulit ng phone na to, makukuha lang natin to sa 21,000 kaya sobrang recommended ko siya. Then isa pa yung OnePlus is 5G na naka-dimensity 8100 na max. Sobrang ganda ng camera nito at palag na palag din sa mga games. At ang isa pang maganda dito, tumatagal din yung battery nito. Wala akong naramdaman na bugs at issue. Pero dun sa Legion on Y70, may counting issue lang doon about sa mga messenger at China Rome yun. So kung gusto nyo pang malaman yung ibang details, bisitayin nyo lang yung channel ko at nandun lahat ng mga unboxing at full review ng mga phones na to. So once again, ako po si Paul Gutierrez ng Paul Tech TV. Hi Sir Richmond, so this is Wax from Wax Attack Channel. If you're gonna ask me, ano nga ba ang the best smartphone for 2022? And I'll have to give it to the Google Pixel 7. I feel like from its predecessor, which is the Google Pixel 6, sobra nag-improve talaga ang overall performance, especially the battery life ng ating Google Pixel 7. And if you're looking for an affordable smartphone na hindi mabubutas ang iyon bulsa, but with a good camera performance, then you'll have to go to the Google Pixel 7. And of course, nilang naman mga expert na pinakinggan natin dito sa video na to. We included some of our fans' voice here in this video. Check this out. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the phone that I've chosen to be the best for this uh, 2022 would be the OnePlus Ace 5G, which comes with the specifications of the Dimensity 8100 Max, an AMOLED display, and a fast 150 watts uh, fast charge. But the main hotak or pull for me would be the uh, operating system of OnePlus, which is the uh, Oxygen OS. I have I have tried many phones from the past years, uh, Xiaomi, Samsung, but whenever I saw the OnePlus Ace and the review of Kuya Richmond of Gadget Sidekick, I saw that the OnePlus Ace really brings the uh, ante against the other phones, considering that it not only has a faster user interface, but it also has a great selling point whenever it comes to sale from Lazada. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Daniel Inchong Tanggol. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Una sa lahat, maraming salamat po sa Richmond dahil kasali ako sa magbigay opinion kung ano ang the best smartphone ngayong year 2022. 
Para sa akin, ang napili ko ay ang Xiaomi 12T Pro dahil hindi lang ng Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, meron din siyang 210p camera, tuned by Harman Kardon at naka IP53 protection pa siya. At pagdating namin sa presyo, mas cheaper siya pagdating sa ibang brand. Kaya ito ang napili kong the best smartphone para sa akin. At higit sa lahat, guys, palagayin po natin ang channel ni Sir Richmond. Support po natin ang gadget sidekick, Xiaomi Review. Palagayin po natin na Happy Christmas! My best flagship smartphone for 2022 is Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So guys, I've splitted this video into two parts. So the other one will be coming up next week. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para man notify kayo. Personally, ako, I'm torn between two phones. Yung isa is not available locally. Yung isa is available globally. So start off muna natin dito sa video nito. One out of two sa napili ko, which is, of course, not available here in the Philippines. And it's the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. This phone is the first ever collaboration between Xiaomi and Leica and I think it's looking fine for them for Xiaomi now, of course having a really nice camera. Even though that this phone didn't sit on top 3 sa DxO mark, mas mataas mas si Xiaomi 11 Ultra but it has given me a lot of really good photos here sa phone na ito. Even though the front camera is not that good but yung rear camera is really something else. Taking night shot, taking zoom shot, taking in from the, any other shots na possible sa phone na ito. I've been using this as main phone ko for yung mga B-rolls ko. Makita ng mga B-rolls ko, pulido, malinaw. Most of them are taken using this phone. So, processor niya is really one of the fastest. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And of course, yung curved screen niya is probably one of the best na feel ko. And even though na medyo may kabigatan siya, for me, this is my daily driver. For me, this is the only phone I can say this 2022 that has really captured my attention. Lana ka ng camera. I'm not too much into gaming, but this phone can really game. But for me, the um, performance of ng camera is probably one of the top notch for 2022. Kaya napili ko siya one out of two sa aking best phone for 2022. So guys, sa sabing ko sa inyo ang aking other phone na for me the best for 2022 the available here in the Philippines and globally on my second video. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para hindi niyo mga future uploads here sa akin channel. So, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watch out!